Hey friends, Rob Hip here. Wanted to share with you my settings that I use to mine Digibyte. This isn't a how-to video on how to mine Digibyte. It's simply just the settings that I use. And I'm also going to provide a link to download the CC Miner Alexa 78, one that I found that gives me so far the best hash rate. If you've got something different, please be sure to share. And hey, also be sure to subscribe as I'll post updates from time to time here on the Rob Hip channel. But again, thanks for joining me. I just wanted to show right now, um, I'm averaging close to 700 uh, hashes a second. As you can see here on the right side of your screen, top right, I'm using MSI Afterburner to tweak my card settings just a little bit. Uh, the power limit is at 112, the temperature limit at 88. I've put the clock at plus 140, the memory clock at plus 100, and I'm running my fan speeds uh, right around 100 or right at 100, so max on the fans. And as you can tell, I'm hovering right around 67, 66 degrees Celsius. This is all being done on an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Founders Edition card. Uh, you can see that on the bottom right part of your screen. That is the card that I'm using, just a single card in this desktop. I used to run quite a few of these cards, and honestly, I've got out of mining a little bit uh, because the prices have really tanked. And so, uh, But I am running an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Founders Edition 8GB card. Again, this is done with the CC Miner Alexa 78 application. And on your batch file, I'm doing this through us.miningfill.com. I'm joined a pool there. And all that you'll do, again, this isn't a how-to video, but all that you'll do, I recommend having MSI Afterburner. You can download it. I'll provide a link to that as well. And then just go download the package that I'm using here, the CC Miner Alexa 78. There will, there will be four files in there. The one that says start-digibyte is a batch file. Just right-click on that, go over to edit, and when you do... Uh, this window will pop up. A notepad window should pop up. If it asks you which application do you want to edit it with, make sure just to choose notepad. And again, just change your options here to whatever your URL is, your location for mining, and then your username and password. So again, I'll put that on a download here. Look in the comments section for that. I'll also link you directly to MSI Afterburner. And in the future, I may post a video on how to actually get set up in mining. But for these settings, I'm getting close to 700, a little bit less right now uh, on the mega hashes just because I'm using OBS and probably the same video power to record this video. So I've been averaging close to 700, right around 700. One final time, those settings, the power limit M NMSI afterburner at 112, the temperature limit at 88. Core clock is at 140 megahertz, the memory clock at 100, and my fan speed at 100 as well. That will get you pretty close, if not to right around 700, and uh, it's worked well. Again, I used to run this in quite a few cards, and it worked really well. So please share with me in the comments uh, as far as what you do. What If you're running this exact same card, if you're getting higher than 700, let me know your settings and uh, we can work on this together and possibly maximize what we're getting out of these NVIDIA GTX 1080 FE 8GB cards. Hey, appreciate you guys. Look forward to hearing from you. Again, uh, look in the post your comments. Look in the description field for more information on where you can download the package that I'm using. And one final time, if you have any comments on what you're doing, please share those with me. That's what I'm here for. I uh, want to learn and grow just as much as you guys do. Hey, this has been Rob Hip, another video. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day, friends.